This is Duke University. New students and their parents during orientation week learned about the traditions that have shaped Duke. University archivist Tim Pyatt walked his audience through more than 150 years of history. You have this rebirth every year at the university, these new folks coming in, and sort of then to find out that we've been doing these kind of things since 1838, you know, and about how the various things are going to be involved in, like, you know, Krzyzewskiville started up, or the whole tradition of the Blue Devil started up, as well as just, you know, the student life things. Hoof and Horn is one of the oldest student drama groups in the country, and then the fact that they can really invent their own history as they go forward, too, that really gets them very excited. But I didn't know that Duke was so good at um, football in the 90s. I thought it was really funny that um, the speaker said, you know, we're a powerhouse in the 90s, but it was 1890. Started in 1888, we beat Carolina 16 to nothing. But then we play in two Rose Bowls. We're a powerhouse, particularly in the 30s and 40s. The fact that freshmen had to wear the little beanies and then girls the bows until Duke beat UNC. I thought that was a funny tradition. From roughly the 30s until the 60s, if you were a freshman at, at Duke, um, you would wear a beanie if you were a guy or a yellow bow if you were if you were a girl, and you had to wear that hat or beanie every time you were outside of the dorm for the entire semester, or, or at least until we beat Carolina in football, whichever came first. Duke in the past isn't that much different from how it is now. There's still a lot of tradition that runs through. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.